If you're a homesteader, prepper, or someone that likes emergency supplies, this might be an item to add to your list. This is the Rayo Lantern Cooker. It's a hurricane lantern that cooks things. This is just the unboxing and setup. The review video will be coming soon. And I guess these are called hurricane lanterns. I don't know, I've never owned one, but we're gonna test it out. It'll be a part of the review. This would be a good time to let you know that this video wouldn't be possible without our dear friends and partners down at Layman's Hardware. We'll get more into that down the road, but for now, let's unbox this. I think I'm just gonna do this on top of my table saw, so I've been waiting to unbox this thing. So let us get into it. Well, first things first, there's a, a box on the side here. This must be the pot, yeah. Oh, does it have a lid? Yes, it does. I'm gonna do cook challenges with this lantern cooker, so I'm like so happy that this thing actually has a lid. It looks like the next piece is literally just the entire lantern. Only two pieces in the box. Okay, so this is like the insert diffuser when pot is removed to reduce clearance of combustible. When the pot's not on, I guess you would put that back on. Like this is a big lantern, hold up. About 15 and a quarter high, 20 and a quarter. I know that that sounds odd, that those are weird numbers, but I swear to you that is the measurement. I need to feed that wick up. There we go, feed that wick up. The wick adjustment's easy, I'll tell you that much. And then here is your fuel insertion with a little rubber O-ring down in the bottom. I'm gonna see if this thing's gonna leak, but that's going to be a part of the review videos. This video, this video is just the unboxing and the setup. So there is some type of spring. Maybe it's just the metal spring itself. There we go. Okay, there is a spring in the top of this that pulls the insert diffuser down. I guess if the glass ever gets too dark or something like that and you just need to replace the glass, you know, seems pretty easy. We're gonna try to pull this back up and put this back together and then just lower it back down. And then your pot would just open up with handles and that would be right on that flame. Oh wow, it actually it actually holds it tightly. I'm gonna flip this over, we're gonna see what happens. There's enough tension that that holds that pot onto the lantern. I'm sure over time, this is not going to have, cause I mean, you have a paint on here, but for now, it definitely holds that pot on there. And this is a 32 ounce pot. It says hot food, coffee, teas, and water in minutes. And apparently this pan has a non-stick finish. We're gonna get some oil in here and we're gonna get this lamp lit up. Friends, if you are on that journey, that path, that quest for a simpler life, let me let you in on a little secret. That is literally Layman's motto. What is Layman's? Well, Layman's is a hardware store in the rolling hills of Ohio in Amish territory. But for me personally, I believe it's one of the greatest hardware stores on the planet. They market themselves around that niche of living a simpler life. Products that are focused on the simpler life for simple people. Now, not only does Layman's have the 35,000 square foot store with over 50,000 in-store SKUs, but they also have over 5,000 SKUs online. Now, I'm not forcing you to go to the website and I'm not gonna tell you that the link is in my bio. If you are on YouTube, the link is in the description below and I'm going to tell you it's worth a look. But again, if you are on that quest and that journey for a simpler life, take a look. That's all I'm saying. This has to be one of the coolest items ever. In my, in my arsenal of items and things in my shop and the things in my home, this, <laughs> I thought that this was gonna take a lot longer to actually get hot. And this water, this water is hot. Genuinely surprised and shocked by this. This is this is awesome. This is cool and I cannot wait to start doing cooking challenges with this Rayo Cook Lantern. This thing is <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of blown away. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of blown away. It's <laughs> it's so cool. I can bring down the heat, you know, if I want to just keep something keep something warm for a little while, or we're pr getting pretty close to an actual boil here. This thing just kicked right up. I mean, look at this. I, it's ready for a tea bag, really. One thing I would say is either decide to cook in the beginning 
and put this on later because once if this is on and you start that up and this gets hot you're not getting this off not without a glove so just on a side note i do feel that this lantern should come with some sort of funnel or something to help with the fueling process even the initial fueling myself i did spill trying to pour from this bottle here i made a little bit of a mess and i think that you know something it doesn't have to be stainless steel like this one but just something as a small funnel for fueling purposes i think is kind of like a must make sure that when you initially put fuel into this lantern that you give it probably a few minutes up to five minutes i would say just letting that wick absorb as much fuel as possible before initial lighting but this thing has kind of blown me away let's make some tea bag of peppermint tea got some sugar in there this is a color changing mug know that this pot is a lot bigger than it looks this is a 32 ounce pot this thing can hold a small can of soup no problem this pot can hold two bottles of water all right i think the water's hot enough for me so let's go ahead and turn it down just a little bit this is a color changing mug so it will change the colors that's just water in there there you go. You can see that just in a few minutes, we're already hot. You can see that is most certainly hot. I want, I'm gonna try to sip on this just because we made this. A little cup of tea. I'm gonna tell you how hot it is, and I'm not, I'm not gonna lie about it. Yeah, that's perfect. This is going with me camping. This is going with me, period, the end. And I can't wait to do cooking challenges with this. The mug doesn't lie. Whew. Which, by the way, these mugs can be found at Layman's. I don't know how much they are, but you can find them there. There we go. Tea is down the hatch. If this video has intrigued you, liked it, or learned something, throw us a like, subscribe if you want to see more. With that, as always, have a beautiful, blessed day. Tell somebody you love them. We'll see you on the next one.